Another commentary done by Diggity upper hand corner. We have Crossy starting as the blue Zerg bottom left hand corner. We have DeWalt starting as the gray Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse. Should be a fun matchup. And I'm not sure if I feel like I've casted this one before for some reason in my head. Feels like a potential repeat, but we'll see as the games continue. DeWalt, arguably one of the best three foreigners at any given point in time, is oftentimes a BSL champion. And if not a BSL champion, a contender to be a BSL champion. Is just an amazing player all the way around. Crossy, currently, arguably, the best player in North America. Him, I think Gypsy has an argument for it. Uh, he's just playing at a very, very high level. And both these guys should give us an amazing match. Looks like we're seeing a pylon towards the front for DeWalt. DeWalt's PVZ... Where I've seen it in the past, he just seems to have the ability to just scatter his opponents and just keep them very much off guard. He, I've never seen him play too... For, really, the thing you want in this current meta is to keep your your Zerg opponent off balance. to And oftentimes try to get them to overcommit units and just absorb the overcommitment oftentimes. Or trying to deal with just scattering, you know, multiple attacks on multiple fronts. So they can't have that concentration of units to deal with what you're throwing out there. It looks like we are going to see a gateway opener here from DeWalt. Opposite corner, I believe we're going to see a 12th hatch from Crossy. Plopping down that hatchery now. But DeWalt just seems to be able to put on a clinic where a lot of other Protoss players have been going for more like that Zealot plus one uh, speed timing. Some sort of builder or just going and making sure they have the robotics facility, dropping down a bunch of gateways, and then moving out with Dragoons and things from there. I feel like that almost plays towards especially high-level Zerg, like Crossy's favor. Essentially because Crossy knows those patterns. He knows what to go up against, and he can just, and he, and he kind of has a, does a good job of forcing his Protoss into an uncomfortable position. Sometimes he'll open up with three hatch mutilists. Sometimes he'll dive that back to the four hatch, to try to force this Protoss player to really protect his High Templar and have potential backstab and tech switches. The Drone Scout actually scooting underneath. The Zealot initially getting distracted, so he's going to see that initial gateway. Spawning Pool finishing, that probe rushing forward. Gas also being grabbed. So Crossy definitely going to need to build some initial Zerglings. Actually only building... Or never mind, didn't have the Minerals. And the Zealot looks like it's going to go ahead and rather than engaging the front, it's going to make sure that he's seeing a third hatchery here. And there is a third hatchery at the 3 o'clock location for Crossy. Seeing a lot of Crossy games, DeWalt grabbing his Nexus behind this with one Zealot on the front. This is a difficult location to defend, however. Never mind, the Zealot looked like it was moving to that 3 o'clock base and then going ahead and backing off. Maybe realizing the situation where his front door is just going to be difficult to seal and manage. Wants to move that Zealot back to the front to try to deny information to Crossy and block him from running Zerglings by. Doing a pretty good job. I mean, Crossy's ability to take down initial scouts, I almost want to put it at legendary level. So DeWalt, wow, actually breaking those Zerglings ankles right there. And is he going to get this probe scout out of here? This is impressive against a player like Crossy who just usually puts on clinics for this sort of thing. Cybernetic score being war. I love this. Putting the cybernetic score on the front as part of the blockade. And Zelt said that's going to allow him to, if he wants to go for the forge, he can put the forge back in his main and make sure that level one weapons comes online. Because as far as a rebuild of a uh, critical building, you lose less time there overall. We are seeing a Hydralist in being built and i was actually about to say knowing crossy i'm i feel like this is going to be one of those busts where he's going to try to press that front and so i really like this play from dewalt in particular because that means if he can get that forge in this back corner actually so he does have the forge there getting that stargate up forge still silent and second assim uh, second assimilator warping in which suggests he wants to move more towards dark templar and a degree of air control. And I'm wondering if that indication is going to put Crossy back towards that five hatch play immediately, or if he's still going to try to 
press things forward. So the Zerglings tapping that front door, DeWalt moving the Zealots to go ahead and brush them off. Also immediately resealing. Enjoying this play. Going ahead and brushing those Zerglings back. I actually love the scouting information that DeWalt gets. Because first of all, he knows that this is more likely a bust because that's a lot of Zerglings to be built. Second of all, he's able to kill and soften up a handful of those Zerglings. But now he knows that as soon as he starts seeing, the, well, potentially as soon as he starts seeing these Hydalisks, that it's time to plop those cannons down. Still holding, because Crossy is such a wily player. Citadel of Adun, first Corsair being built, and the Hydralisks now moving in position. And before the Hydralisks get there, again pressing forward and moving the Zerglings off the front door. So the Hydralisks grouping up, level 1 spines, or sorry, the spines range upgrade not there yet. A fourth hatchery is being grabbed on the front from Crossy. And now the cannons warping in ahead of the Hydralisks being there. And again, because of the it's trying to push back, the spine, the range upgrade's not there though. So they're having a difficult time reaching over that wall to get the back line of cannons. The Zealots are taking a lot of damage on the front. Probes pulling off the line. And now the Hydralisks going ahead and backing off. The Probes getting a good surround on these Hydralisks though, allowing the Zealots to do the damage, and I think DeWalt has repelled this, at least initially. I think he can go ahead and pull these probes back. He is bleeding a lot of probes. Did bleed a, a significant amount of probes, but I don't think he took too much damage out of that. The Hydralisks now with that range upgrade, pounding away at that gateway. Keep in mind this forge with the level 1 weapons is going to be safe in this back corner. The Corsair moving forward, trying to get some damage done. DeWalt needs to protect that to keep the scouting information. He does see this fourth being built. Or I guess operational, I should say. The Corsair is continuing, or the Corsairs, the Hydra is continuing to pound away at this front door. Try to take what tech they can. They should get the cybernetics core and the gateway. A lot of gateways being dropped down. No Templar archives as of yet. So it looks like DeWalt might skip upon seeing that fourth hatchery. An evolution chamber, he's going to go ahead and potentially fold back away. Battle drone. Hydralis being drawn back to deal with that Corsair. I don't think they're... Are they going to get that Overlord kill? Actually, might be able to get an Overlord kill, which is a small win. Nope, not quite able to get that Overlord kill. So the Cybernetics Core down. No Templar Archives. Level 1 armor being built. Looks like the speed being upgraded. Six gateways there. Corsair is scooting around to see what it can see, and Crossy going to go ahead and grab a fifth hatchery. So he's kind of moving back to, to the five hatchery play. Creep Colony right there. He's got the Evolution Chamber in place, but currently DeWalt does have the upgrade advantage. Again, because of that play to put that Forge in the back corner. So now, DeWalt going to go ahead and macro up, continue with the upgrades, push towards the Robotics Facility, wait for that... Observer before he pushes out. Crossy is getting Lurker Tech. I don't know that he's going to be able to go ahead and get that front door seal he's potentially looking for on the front. And he's being pretty active with this Corsair to distract Crossy and force some APM out of him somewhere out in the field. This is a good grouping of Zealots and not many Hydralisks on the front currently for Crossy. And honestly, I feel like Crossy might just want to back off with these considering that, but with these overlords actually on the front, he needs to keep these Hydralisks nearby to protect it until Phenomenized Carapace comes online. So one overlord down, a second one might be vulnerable. So DeWalt actually, by keeping this Corsair active and annoying, it's forcing these Hydralisks to stay and defend this overlord. The Zealots with leg speed now pushing forward. And I'm wondering if that Corsair is just going to end around before those lurkers are in position to do anything. And so Crossy is going to have to run back and get back in position to go ahead and defend a lot of things. Looks like these Zelts are making their way to the 3 o'clock base. There is a single sunken colony there. The Hydralisk grouping in from the north, trying to draw back there. Using their range to their advantage, trying to stutter step their way across. That Corsair, yeah, now working on that Overlord in that back corner. Crossy did have a supplementary Overlord to deal with it. Some Lurkers now getting a position across that ramp. The Zelts ending back around. This is going to end this attack because DeWalt does not have observers here. But it looks like he's going to regroup and try to catch as many Hydralisks on the front 
as he can. The Hydra's starting to, now that they have larger grouping, starting to regroup. The Lurker's moving forward to go ahead and clear the rest of this attack force out. That Corsair finally being taken out, but man, he made really good use of it. And four Zealots going to escape with their lives. High Templar out. There's the robotics facility. Look for Dragoons to start filling things out. We are seeing a single Dark Templar being built. Range being upgraded. Level 1 armor now online. Level 1 weapons has finished. And DeWalt checking additional locations with these Zealots just to make sure... I think he's just trying to find some units out of position. Crossy pressing forward. I think he's still hoping to maybe get a Lurker contain. Hydalus being caught to the north, regrouping with this Overlord and backing out towards that natural expansion. Dark Templar are going to be able to engage with these Zealots to the front. No Overlord there. Crossy realizes that he's going to back off. And you can just see these engagements happening at multiple locations for both these players, really utilizing their APM. Dark Templar now making its way to the bottom right, then Overlord kind of scooting out. So here's the thing. Crossy wants to go ahead and take his fourth. But DeWalt with this roving Zealot army and that Dark Templar in the midst of it, really making it an uncomfortable take for Crossy. Crossy still wants to try to box his opponent in. He's trying to rove around with these Hydralisks and catch Zealots and everything else as it's moving out. But this is also allowing DeWalt to fill in a lot of units in the background. Looks like he is going to be able to wander in. He's seeing that fourth base being built. These Zealots are going to sacrifice their lives for the scout. More Zealots marching out immediately. And I actually feel like with enough map disruption that DeWalt's fielding here, he might, and with enough of this threat, he can actually go ahead and take an additional base with just the disruption he's got alone. Ventral Sacks now upgraded. For Crossy, so it's potentially, potentially we're going to see a drop somewhere following this up. DeWalt pushing into midfield. Catching some overlords, sorry, some lurkers out of position. Some Hydralists trying to engage from the right. A lot of side storms being dropped from every location. So Crossy trying to engage from multiple locations at once. But DeWalt's still getting a good amount of that side storm off. And he's walking these units back. He has level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. So he has a slight advantage as things run right now and now that the hydralist count is a little bit lower they're trying to focus fire that dark templar <laughs> using that to kind of distract crossing the midst of this attack the archon being wiped out but you can just see like the movement as you're doing and i love what crossy's also done here he's camped that overlord to get a good look to see whether dewalt's taking that additional base or not he's got that fourth base up does not have it saturated yet and he doesn't need to really saturate it until DeWalt starts pushing that economy. So now Crossy, again, trying to reestablish position in the middle. A couple Hydralists being caught out of position. Dark Templar has managed to sneak in, finds no drones there at that three or that uh, fourth base. The mineral only. Dark Templar does get wiped out. And now DeWalt, despite that overlord, with this attack force in between Crossy's army and his, is going to go ahead and grab his third. He's tacked on. He's got eight gateways out on the front. His level two, sorry, level one, level two armor coming online. Still has that upgrade advantage. Crossy pressing forward across the high ground. Whiff of a side storm there. The Hydro's starting to push forward. The Zealots on top of the Lurkers, so they're getting cleared out. There are a lot of Dragoons behind this. And I think that should be enough Dragoons to go ahead and deal with the Hydralisks that are there. So DeWalt holds with, it looks like, two full control groups of Dragoons. Still has his Observer as well. Crossy not able to find room to pick them off. Reinforcing Hydral pressing forward. But Crossy's supply starting to fall behind DeWalt. He's, DeWalt's done a good job of just taking these engagements, getting favorable trades, dropping size storms where he can, and forcing Crossy in a situation where he's continuing to pump units rather than saturate because this base still not saturated. DeWalt now has his third. So DeWalt in a, not in a comfortable position, but in a strong position, in my opinion, because he's got the, he's got the weapons upgrade that's continuing to press. We have seen no movements towards where was the, actually, we don't even see 
layer or sorry there's layer tech no movements towards hive tech as of yet this space not yet saturated the zealots actually streaming through they might be able to take out this hatchery before it even gets running if they just focus fire it doing so now hydralisks streaming up there but the hydralisks are not going to do the damage rapidly enough to stop this hatchery from being taken out and a big win for dewalt hatchery gone the zealots get taken out while those hydralisks are out of position he's continuing to press forward maybe going to push into this lurker line and with all of that also going to grab his nine o'clock sneaking through to the three o'clock base as well and this is a very threatening position where you can just kind of hold this area crossy has to engage dewalt just doing a fantastic job of engaging at one location backing up as crossy's trying to respond and then jumping on top of his reinforcement line to just kill a handful of hydralisks back off attack threaten one location force crossy to commit push back pick off a handful of hydralisks the army movement has been phenomenal from him continuing to keep that macro up just fielding all sorts of units the upgrades continuing to whirl level two weapons will be online momentarily level one carapace still making its way and we have double forge upgrades so dewalt if he just continues what he's doing is going to end up winning this match essentially both economically and in the upgrades department and crossy still not taking motions to grab additional bases perhaps just so flustered trying to reestablish maybe doesn't even feel comfortable trying to reestablish map control in the middle of this map cannons up probes for a second there i thought this was a probe transfer it's actually distance mining finally grabbing an additional hatchery there but dewalt 40 supply ahead the upgrade advantage is significant crossy now making his way towards hive and he's going to need it he needs swarm he needs adrenal upgrades he needs a lot of that to compete with dewalt's upgrades and just stay in this match to be honest i loved really the army movements in this mid game have been fantastic some overlords making their way to the six o'clock location they don't have anything in here i think this is just a fake bait to kind of force dewalt out of position so he's acting like he's going to go ahead and drop here trying to spot things out and draw this army back is dewalt going to bite on this though he's keeping this army nearby so he's acting like he's moving in for a drop here forcing that army back and crossy with those empty overlords trying to dive in position dewalt though delayed a little bit not buying it so still has the bulk of his army in position dropping all sorts of psi storms as crossy's pressing in and sells plenty of dragoons once again on this back line the high templar well protected and i think this might be gg from crossy after this engagement as the hydralisks getting wiped out in the middle of the map yeah there's gg well played by dewalt nice little maneuver there by crossy to try to sneak back into it but yeah dewalt just playing really high level play there hope you guys enjoyed it really looking forward to this season of bsl thanks for listening